Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we like to talk about things architectural. We talked a while back about a fellow known as Sir Christopher Wren, who uh, did a lot of work in England, but he had a predecessor that was kind of interesting, and it's good to see this continuity and how the work of one kind of leads to the work of another. Inigo Jones lived from 1573 until 1652, which means he caught a great deal of the Renaissance when it was happening. And he's credited with bringing classical architecture to England well before uh, Christopher Wren. Wren came and did a lot of work and perfected it, but Jones, Jones did a lot of work himself. He is, his story is interesting because he wasn't born into wealth or influence like most of these successful people were, but it was his early interest in the arts and architecture and his talents alone, really, that made it possible for him to travel, and he went to Italy uh, like Wren had, and he became particularly interested in the work of Andrea Palladio, who we've talked about also. So when he came back to England, he was working, and again, his talents shone through. He caught the attention of none other than King James I, and eventually rose to the, the position of Surveyor General for the, uh, the kingdom, which put him in, uh, in control of uh, many, many uh, public building projects, and he did private commissions as well. One thing he did was a, uh, a restoration of St. Paul Cathedral. Now we know from talking about Christopher Wren that in 1666, which was 14 years after Joan's death, that cathedral was destroyed in the Great London Fire. And then is when Christopher Wren came to prominence because that's about the time he came back from Italy and took over and, and did lots and lots of work uh, restoring uh, London. So there again, it's, it's just kind of an interesting story that ties together and if you know about Christopher Wren, you, you really need to know about Inigo Jones as well. So thanks for joining us today at the Frog Pond School of Design. I look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon.